by storm in Sao Paulo, Brazil. August 24, 2023. Strong winds and ice storms wreak havoc in Sao Paulo and Santa Catarina, Brazil. Residents were taken by surprise when the storm hit, causing damage to buildings and vehicles. Local authorities are working to assess the extent of the damage and provide assistance to the affected areas. Meteorologists warn that the volatile weather may continue over the next few days. Hurricane in Ontario, Canada. August 25, 2023. Environmental Canada reflected severe weather again Thursday evening after the region was hit by a storm on Wednesday. Severe storm controls were in place for Sarnia, Lambton, Windsor, Essex, and Chatham, Kent, parts of Middlesex County, and Elgin County before 4.45 p.m. Canada's weather agency said the storm would move southeast over the region through Thursday evening. Starting at 10 p.m., other parts of GTA came under similar thunderstorm watch, including Halton Peel, Hamilton, and Waterloo-Wellington, among other regions. In Toronto, rain will continue into Friday morning before stopping in the late afternoon resulting in a clear evening. Photos posted to social media showed heavy flooding in Tilbury and fallen trees near Dresden. Floods in Detroit, Michigan. August 24, 2023. Heavy overnight rain led to street flooding in the Detroit area and other parts of southeastern Michigan on Thursday, including tunnels leading to Detroit's main airport, officials said. Flooded underground roadways that connect airport terminals blocked travelers from part of the Detroit Metropolitan Airport, a spokeswoman for the Wayne County Airport Authority said in a statement. Travelers with flights out of the McNamara Terminal were urged to check the status of their flights. The flooding came from storms that dropped over five inches of rain on parts of the region Wednesday night and into Thursday morning, said Brian Cromwell, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Detroit. A flood warning was in effect until Thursday afternoon for five southeastern Michigan counties Livingston, Monroe, Oakland, Wayne, and Washtenaw. The National Weather Service said urban and small stream flooding was expected and was already occurring in the area Thursday. A heat advisory was also in effect through Thursday night for several southeastern Michigan counties, with heat index values of up to 102 degrees expected during Thursday, the Weather Service said. The storms caused power outages across Michigan concentrated in the Detroit area, with more than 58,000 homes and businesses in the dark as of 9 a.m. According to Power to Jess, 